you guys. It's your girl, Neji. Also, known as Glam Miss T. And if you're new here, welcome to the family. Y'all, you already subscribed. Then you know how this go. I am finally back with another video. And I got to pause and say thank y'all for 600 subscribers. Shout out to the Glam. Shout out to the OGs. Shout out to the OGs who have been rocking with me since I was. Not my bonnet in the background. Rock with me since I was in college. Shout out to y'all, all through university. Shout out to just shout out to everybody. Shout out to all the new folk. You're gonna love it here. But today, a I gotta updo how we like in the updo. Let's give the Leah vibes with the bang, with the bang. This I took my lash off this eye, so not too much. Um, but this is gonna be a little different video for my channel. It's going to be my unpopular opinion video because. I have a whole bunch of unpopular opinions. So if you want to see my unpopular opinions and you may share some of them, just keep watching, but not too much. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so I have my iPad here and I have written down my unpopular opinions. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the food category because there's a lot. My first unpopular opinion, I'm going to get ate up for this one, but it's matcha. I think the girls drink matcha for attention. I do. I think that y'all hopped on the train. Like, things trend, and y'all take it too far. Now everybody in the girl want a matcha latte. You're drinking grass. I Googled it. Matcha is like powdered grass. I'm not finna play with y'all. Y'all doing it for attention now. And I hate that. I, I just don't. I just personally am not a, a matcha girl. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm gonna be a matcha girl. And I'm not hopping on the train. Another one, going straight into it, avocado toast. I think y'all drinking matcha and eating avocado toast because it's on trend. Nobody was eating avocado toast. Oh, uh, uh, avocado toast about a year ago. The girls are eating bacon, egg, and cheeses. Now eating avocado toast. And don't get me wrong, we love a good health kick. We love life changes. We love getting healthy. But y'all eating Ezekiel toast with avocado spread on top with everything bagel season. Stop it. Stop. I want y'all to stop. Like it's it's <laughs> it's becoming it's becoming personality. Like oh, I'm a matcha girl. What does that even mean? What does that mean? I'm a matcha avocado girl. How are foods and drinks your personality? Explain that to me. And yes, this lash is off. Explain that to me. I want to know. I really want to know. I want to know how that's becoming y'all personality. Because it's giving, it's giving too, it's giving basic. If we're being honest, it's giving basic because everybody doing it. Me, I'm going to stick to my cold brew. I'm going to stick to my cold brew with the sweet cold foam. And I like dunking over Starbucks. Again, unpopular opinion. That's just me. But I'm going to be true to myself. The next food item on the list simply comes in when it comes to liquor. Now we're on to margaritas and martinis. Espresso martinis. Why would I want coffee and liquor? That just sounds like you want to be on the toilet. And maybe that's why I drink them. But really, I don't want liquor and coffee. That sounds gross. That's a Now everybody in the drama, like, and then you're drinking an espresso martini at 10 o'clock at night. You're going to be up. It's espresso. It ain't regular coffee, baby. It's espresso. The next drink is lychee. Leche, lychee, lychee, like whatever martinis. Gross. I had one. It tastes like spit. It tastes like it's so nasty. I said, wow. Y'all have to stop making stuff trend and, and making them popular because what? What is a lychee? A leche? What is it? It's a little white ball. It, it the texture didn't. Uh, almost threw up. No. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. The next one on the list, spicy margaritas. Why do I want spice in my drink? Why do I want seasonings in my beverage? And y'all are coke, y'all, y'all are coke drinking these drinks. Lychee martinis, espresso martinis, spicy mark. Y'all are coke drinking them, just like the matcha. Y'all drinking them for attention. Y'all on y'all on y'all little solo dates and cute dates with the girls, the little TikTok. You want to get the video and it's a pepper in your drink. Why? Why, babe? Why, babe? No. No. And I'm gonna sit up here and tell me, not too much. And I'm gonna sit up here and tell me y'all like them. And I'm gonna sit up here and tell me it will taste good. I don't believe y'all. I don't believe y'all. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not drinking tyene in my drink. No. No. 
the on. next thing the, the next thing on my unpopular opinion list is getting up at 5 a.m now at one point i wanted to be a 5 a.m girl and i am now a 5 a.m girl and i can say it's overrated and it's just not it there's nothing to do at 5 a.m besides be awake now the girls who work out at 5 a.m i get it because you want to work out before everybody else but if we're being honest nobody's awake it's dark it may be cold like getting up at 5 a.m sounds good it sounds like an aesthetic but actually getting up at 5 5 o'clock 5 15 to get in the shower and get to work it's 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 almost like a punishment like i'm sorry huh if i didn't have to get up at 5 a.m i wouldn't and that's just me i personally wouldn't like 6 a.m maybe even like 6 7 that's still very early but 5 a.m because the girl's like yeah my 5 a.m morning routine why are you up if you don't have to clock into work till 9 why are you awake because you can get up at 6 you get at 6 30 and literally be to work on time even if you work out make your little matcha matcha latte and five is starbucks even open at five what are y'all doing at 5 a.m unless it's a flight babe i'm not feeling it no that's just me these are my opinions and i i, I own them wholeheartedly if you like getting up at 5 a.m then you do you me when summer hits i'm sleeping in i'm sleeping until at least seven at least seven do you hear how crazy that sounds at least seven yeah that's just me um the next thing on my list are a couple perfumes let's get to it so de janeiro body spray not a fan not a fan i get it but i don't the the creams are they're really they're really rich in scent okay but the body sprays no i'm not a body spray girl and you're not gonna ever try to bully me into being a body spray girl i'm a fragrance girl you can see my perfume in the back i'm a perfume girl and i stand by that and y'all talking about some oh yeah you can still wear body spray i don't want to so the fact that y'all have hype so de janeiro or something it smells like baccarat no it doesn't actually you don't it really 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 don't coming coming in a close second is love don't be shy by killian don't get me wrong i love killian sense but y'all have again coated this fragrance and it, if we being honest it don't give y'all always talk about some oh yeah the tiktok girls and the youtube girls be having me smell like old lady yeah because y'all take whatever they say and it's bible to y'all that's the problem it's bible no love don't be shy smell like grape now laters just some always oh, bruising y'all on a signature stand it was real it smells it don't smell good mm -mm. it don't smell it does not smell good uh coming in the third in the close third most of tom ford's fragrances i don't like them don't lost cherry nope um what's the other bitter peach nope um fabulous nope uh the rose prick rope whatever they all stink for them to cost me 300 something dollars are y'all dumb babe i go to target and get me a mixed bar sip fragrance before i give mr tom ford my money nope it never gave i will go to I will go to Target and give me a mixed bar fragrance before I give Tom Ford my hard-earned 300 plus tax American dollars on a scent that smells like leather. That smells like robotussin. That smells like peach snops. No. I'm sorry, no. And y'all could eat me up. I don't care. I don't care, but it's just a no for me. Moving on, this is a whole brand that is my unpopular opinion I don't like. And it's Miss Lululemon. Miss Lululemon, she got it. She got, why? Why is Lululemon so expensive? Is it me? And and, and, my, and, my, and my unpopular opinion, it's just leggings. Lulu, Miss Lulu girl, no. Shout out to the ones who, out, shout out to y'all for paying $90 for a pair of leggings, paying $100 for one t-shirt, but it won't be me. It won't be me. My next two unpopular opinions simply come from, again, y'all, the tapings, micro links, um, skip tracks, natural part leave out. Nope, y'all can have it. Now y'all see this little updo. Y'all see I have my hair, my natural hair on the side. The edges have curled up a little bit and y'all know I'm, I'm coming real raw to y'all, don't care. 
But the girls are like, yeah, I can never get with lace to you. That's for you. Me, I'm going to keep rocking my wigs. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep wearing my wigs. I'm a 4B, 4C natural mix coily hair texture. And I simply just will not be damaging my hair to keep up with the trends. No. I had an appointment for Michael Links one time and it got canceled. And I said, oh, that was God because he knew I was going to damage my hair. Because again, the girls are getting the micro links and then like, like, oh my God, break edge. Oh my God, heat damage. What did you think were gonna happen? The girls used to wear sewing back in the day because that's literally all the girls could do. Then we got wigs and then y'all said, okay, boom, I'm taking the frontals and I'm running with it. Now y'all going backwards, say, oh, micro links tapings. When the hell did anybody think putting tape in my head was smart? And then this, 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 the headbanger. It's the girls with textures like mine. Who getting the silky ones? Huh? Who 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 who's not getting a kinky texture added in their hair? And sitting there, we're back in 2009. We was in the we was before school. Yeah. No. I'm not going back. Y'all can have it. Y'all can continue to let the the girls with who are black without melanin. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The black, the black girls without melanin, without textured hair, keep telling y'all and trying to trick y'all into thinking that that's it. That's not it. Your hair's not like this. And if you're being honest, their hair be fried and died and burnt out. But it's the aesthetic. Oh, it's the aesthetic. Girl, y'all can miss me with that one. The next one is short, girl. The, the, the next one is short nails. It's going to always be the longies for me. I don't know where y'all got the short nails equate to being classy and wife-like, but kill the narrative. Kill the narrative. Either you got it or you don't. I just happen to have it. I like long nails. I think they look great on my fingers, but it's the fact that y'all literally have have this, like, oh yeah, short nails make you all life. Short nails give class. Short, who said that? Who said that? I can see if you're in corporate America. I can see if you're a judge and you're working. That's different. But even if you want to do what you want to do, baby, you earned that position. Can't nobody take that away from you. Wear what you want to wear. And again, this looks good on me. This is my opinion. Y'all want to rock the short? It's the short nails for me. Y'all can have it. Uh, I'm going to keep rocking. I don't even know what this is. But I'm... You see it. I'm... <laughs> you see it. I'm going to keep rocking my nails. Because I truly truly can't get with it and the thing i think everything that i'm on here ranting about is simply because y'all have taken it and ran with the aesthetic except for that food that stuff is nasty on to the next one my next unpopular opinion and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna end this video up here because i'm literally just ranting it's the long self-care and long skin care routines can we dead them like we're almost at the half of the year let's leave half of the stuff i'm talking about in the first half of 2022 because i'm tired of seeing the hoarding pictures because it's really hoarding at this point i'm tired of seeing the hoarding pictures of the girls having body wash body scrub body oil body lotion body spray perfume chapstick every all of this in one picture that you're using on your body as a woman it's giving unhealthy it's giving unhealthy down here because why are you using body spray bottle oil in shower oil shaving cream all of this in one time you're not that dirty. Now, I will say this. I'm happy that our girls are washing because we already know some people who don't look like us don't wash. But, babe, you don't need 20, 11,000 products each shower. Same thing with the skincare routine. The skincare girls had y'all in a hope last couple years ago, maybe almost a decade ago now. But some of us still have a 10-step skincare routine. Maybe it just never worked for me because I have sensitive skin. And when I say I have sensitive skin, I actually mean it. I don't just say I have sensitive and dry skin for an aesthetic or for other people to follow me. I'm dead serious. But I use one wrong thing and I'm broken out for a month. One thing. Y'all be using toner, serum, uh, hydrochlorazide, all these different uh, acids on your face. And then a moisturizer. And thank God y'all using SPF. But it, it got to be a simpler way. It's just no way you need all of that on your face to have clear skin. And then y'all skin don't be clear. And then y'all get y'all recommendations again from TikTok and YouTube. Now, don't get me wrong. You can definitely be influenced by your favorite influencer. I eat me. But I'm never, ever, ever giving you a 10-step. I'm not ever putting 
body spray and body cream and body oil and perfume and i'm not doing all that to smell good if you gotta do all that to smell good babe the problem is not the, the body the body the body uh spray it ain't the perfume if you catch my drift drink you some water some cranberry pills because you shouldn't have to use all that to smell good it's giving go to the dermatologist and get you a real regimen for your skin and stop listening to what these girls use on here because why do you have 12 products and your skin not even clear it never gave it never gave well that is it for my unpopular opinions video slash things we should leave in 2022 slash things y'all have culted um if you like me ranting then i will definitely do more let me know that in the comments what else you want my opinion on if you want to know what i'm actually loving that is trending right now or things that i actually do approve of that i learned off tiktok and other girls please let me know that in the comments because i do have a long list of those too but that is all for this video again thank you guys for 600 subscribers thank you for rocking with me thank you for loving me um i get so emotional when i get comments like oh my god thank you for making this video or thank you this is so helpful because that's truly what i'm here for and obviously sometimes just to talk and rant and get some stuff off my chest but i love you guys so so freaking much and i'm so thankful for y'all make sure you're following me on all socials or should i do this side do this side follow me on all socials especially tiktok because i'm more active on there than ever um i'm shadow banned on instagram so if you can follow me then follow me <laughs> let me know you're following me and i'll follow back but that is it, you guys. I love you so, so much. Bye. Mwah.